Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to another quick five minute Photoshop tutorial. Today we're gonna be looking at the Puppet Warp and I've got one of my pictures that I created last year and uh, I'm gonna use this one as an example. So for this picture right here, I've got my daughter here and she has got an open book and the pages are all torn and what I envisioned uh, for this picture was uh, for there to be a giant beanstalk, which is from one of her favorite stories, Jack and the Beanstalk. And it would be coming up directly from this book and just, just kind of twisting all around and going up into the air. Just kind of a fun, uh, you know, type of uh, imaginative uh, children's story that we can use here and uh, kind of illustrate that. And so I wanted to do that. And uh, the, what I needed to do, I've already got the picture of her in the book. I needed to uh, get a picture of a vine. And so I've got this picture right here. Let me make it a little bit smaller. This is a vine right here. And uh, this is just a, a regular picture of some twisted uh, branches. And I think it looks pretty cool. Um, the problem is, we have a couple problems. It's very straight. So it kind of just goes straight up. And also it's not long enough. And so I actually want it to be able to twist and turn and go up to the sky. And so to do that, first of all, I need to make it a little bit smaller, kind of like this. And then what I need to do is duplicate it. Control J on your keyboard to duplicate things. And uh, now we have two of these uh, little vines here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right on top of this one. And I'm just going to use a layer mask uh, to just to kind of um, merge these two vines together, just like that, and then get rid of this one over here as well. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of a longer vine. That's good, uh, but it's still very straight. And uh, so what I need to do for this is I'm going to use a tool in Photoshop called the Puppet Warp tool. And so what you do is you go over to Edit, and you go to Puppet Warp, and then what happens is you get all of these little uh, cross sections here, all of these little intersections of these lines, and uh, everywhere that there is a point, um, you can uh, put a little pin in them. And so what you want to do is every time you click one of these points, so for example, I'm gonna click right down here and put a pin, and I'm gonna uh, put a pin right here as well. When you have two pins in there, then you can start moving things um, with respect to that pin. So if I put another pin up here and started dragging uh, this point, it's only going to uh, move everything that is not subject to that pin. And so this is really cool in, in uh, Photoshop where you can just kind of uh, move these things around and uh, make the shape uh, really interesting. So for example, I'm gonna put a pin right here and I'm just gonna drag it over here to the right, kind of like that, get another pin. And we'll move this one over here and then I'll grab a pin right here and then we'll keep going up into the sky. I kind of want to make sure I've got the, uh, the vine going in the same direction of where she's looking at. So I'm kind of doing it like this. Uh, but you could, you know, you could in theory just make this as curvy, as uh, twisty as you want it to be and uh, make a really interesting uh, shape doing this. And so I don't, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this tutorial for this, but this is about uh, what I would do is I would just twist and turn this little beanstalk and uh, make it go all over the place. Now, you don't wanna do this too much because if you start warping it too much, you're gonna start warping those pixels and they're gonna look uh, a little bit uh, pixelated and they're gonna look stretched and it's not gonna be uh, so good when you do that. So use it sparingly, You know, be careful as much as you are gonna warp it, uh, but this is a great way to do um, these type of twists and turns. When you're happy with it, just hit your check mark um, if you don't like it, you can always undo and then start over. Uh, so now we have our we have our uh, vine here, and so this is before and this is after. You can see how uh, much more interesting this this vine is. And so what we want to do next is we just want to blend it into the scene. So I'm just going to erase parts of this vine that are that should be invisible because of this paper. So I'm just going to erase part of this. And we actually did tear this paper. I thought about just photoshopping the paper and just, uh, you know, photoshopping little tears in there. But I thought it'd be a lot cooler if we actually tore the paper. Uh, so that's what I did. I just tore the paper. And then what we do is when we cut out that part of the beanstalk, it looks like it's coming 
uh, up from the actual book. Of course, we need to do some other things to this vine. You know, we've got to work on the contrast. We need to work on the colors. Uh, and so, you know, this editing is not done once you just do the uh, puppet warp, but that is a great start on how to, uh, you know, really create some interesting pictures here. Uh, just uh, warp, um, warp the shape that you have, make it nice and curvy, and uh, you can just really get some, some cool little uh, shapes here rather than just using a straight line. And uh, so this is what I've got right here. This is kind of the final image. Uh, you know, this is... Uh, this is illustrating the Jack and the Beanstalk picture here, and so this is what I wanted to create. And I hope that you are able to take the uh, the Puppet Warp tool as well and uh, create some really uh, interesting shapes. Guys, that's all I've got for today. Uh, this is the, just a, a really quick tip on the Puppet tool, uh, but I hope you enjoy this one and uh, check back tomorrow for a brand new Photoshop tutorial.